Hello everyone, welcome back to another Shinobi Brogan video, and today we're going to be doing another Marvel Champions playthrough. We're going to have some fun today with Steve Rogers, Captain America, in a leadership aspect deck, going up against Norman Osborn, Green Goblin, and Risky Business. Uh, today we're going to use a very ally swarm leadership deck. Uh, it has, uh, I believe, 12 allies in the form of Maria Hill for some draw potential and blocking. Squirrel Girl to get rid of a lot of the nasty little uh, minions in this. This will be a two-part series. We're going to be using Steve Rogers against Risky Business and Mutagen Formula. So this will be definitely helpful in Mutagen Formula. Kalu for some events because nine of the 15 uh, hero cards for Captain America are events. Adam Warlock just for some more versatility. Hawkeye again for the minions. White Tiger to get some more card draw. Iron Man just to have a harder hitting, healthier ally. Vision, same thing as uh, as um, Iron Man. And then Falcon to just get some more threat going away. Try scaling in order to get all these guys out. Make the call in order to recycle some from my discard pile. Three copies of Strength and Numbers in order to uh, draw some more cards. And then two powers of leadership and one band together. For basic cards, we have Blade, just as another ally. Mockingbird, in order to stun the ally, uh, or stun the villain. Honorary Avenger, to beef up some of our allies. Team building exercises, in order to make the, uh, make our cards a bit cheaper. Avenger Tower, to get us another ally. So total, we can have a total of five allies. And then our three resources. We, of course, have our five or 15 hero cards for Captain America. Um, so let me get shuffled. All right, now that we're shuffled up, let's go ahead and get started. Draw up to six. Starting hand is a Falcon, Power of Leadership, Energy, Maria Hill, Shield Block, and Steve's Apartment. We're going to keep this whole hand. We're going to use Power of Leadership and um, hmm. we're going to use Shield Block in order to pay for Steve's apartment. We're going to exhaust Steve's apartment in order to draw one card. We're going to use Steve Rogers Pay One Less for Power or for an ally ability in order to use Power of Leadership and Honorary Avenger in order to play Falcon. After Falcon enters play, look at the top three cards in the main deck. Or the encounter deck, rather. And for each treachery, remove one threat from a scheme. There is currently one treachery. So we remove one. Oh, my apologies. We also have to look for Captain America's shield. Come on. Where is it? Grab the shield. We are going to use energy to play Maria Hill in order to draw a card. We have a blade. We're going to flip up. Use blade in order to place down Captain America's shield. We're going to attack with Captain America for two. And use Falcon to attack for another two. Bringing him down to ten. We put one token on token on the Falcon. Excuse me. Alright, that's my turn. Ready up. Drop to five. We have a Mockingbird, Heroic Strike, Adam Warlock, Agent 13, and a Super Soldier Serum. This game's going to go up by, um, by two. So we place three. When Mormon Osborne remove 
Oh, my apologies. When Norman Osborne would remove or take any damage, remove that many infamy counters instead. So he would have flipped. State of Menace enters play with two infamy counters. When revealed, deal three indirect damage to your hero. I'm going to trash Marie Hill. It's a blocker. Oh, never mind. It's indirect. One, two, three. So I don't get to retaliate from my Captain America shield. He attacks me for three, four. Place one infamy counter on the criminal enterprise. If you cannot, remove one madness counter from it. Remove one. Attacks me for four, so then I'll block with Marie Hill. Bad card. It's the Goblin Glider. Attached to an enemy with the highest printed hit points and without another Goblin Glider attached. If you cannot, this card gains Surge. I did. All right. It's my turn. We are going to... Use Adam Warlock and Super Soldier Serum and Mockingbird in order to play Heroic Strike, which stuns the enemy and deals six damage. Placing a stun. You will attack. For two, or thwart for two, rather. Bring this thing down to one. We're going to attack for two with Captain America. We're going to then trash my card, which is Agent 13, to ready Captain America. Deal two more damage. Which then gets rid of Green Goblin. Moving him from game. <laughs> when revealed, deal four indirect damage. Bring us down to four. All right, we then ready up. Drawing his strength in numbers. Shield toss, a genius, an Iron Man, and a white tiger. Green Goblin, he would, uh, when Green Goblin would scheme, remove one Madness counter from State of Madness, he would take one off. Green Goblin would flip. Norman Osborn would try to attack us. When Norman Osborn would attack, place two, oh, this would also flip, my apologies. When Mormon Osborne were attacked, place two infamy counters on Criminal Enterprise instead. Bring us up to four. He would not attack us. And then in the counter card, Private Security Specialist goes into play. Guard, while he is in play, he cannot, we cannot attack the enemy. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to flip down and we're going to recover for three, bring us up to seven. He goes up to 18. We're going to use genius and the reduced cost because of him in order to play white tiger. When White Tiger enters play, draw X cards equal to the villain's stage. We would draw two because Norman Osborn is currently stage two. We're going to then use shield. To, uh, hmm. We're going to exhaust Steve's apartment to draw a card and heal one. From Steve Rogers.
we're going to attack for two with Falcon, taking two counters off of Criminal Enterprise. Can we get one or two counters? We're going to attack for two with White Tiger, taking these off completely, which flips this along with Norman Osborne. Deal four indirect damage to us. My apologies. Um, you cannot attack the villain. My apologies. This would not happen because of a guard minion. We would then do all that damage to the guard minion. In order to get rid of him. Before damage from White Tiger and from Falcon. We're going to use Strength in Numbers. We're going to play Shield Toss, deal four damage to an enemy for each, or deal four damage to X enemies for X cards you discarded. We're going to discard Strength in Numbers to deal four damage onto Norman Osborne, bringing him down to 14. I'm going to use Fearless Determination to give us plus one thwart and draw a card. Kalu. We're going to keep forgetting. He would go back up to 18. These would be removed. Flip over. He would have two. He would flip over, dealing us four damage. Down to four. I would then use Avengers Tower and Iron Man to play Kalu. When Kalu enters play, look at the top five cards of your deck and put an event into your hand. I'm going to put Shield Block in my hand and then shuffle your deck. Going to play. Shield block. And then attack with one onto onto Green Goblin. Alright. From here. Everybody readies. We drop to six. Make the call, shield toss, super soldier serum, band together, and the power of leadership. Not a great hand for these two cards. All right. He would have a token on him. We attack for five, six. Place one infamy counter. If you cannot remove one, one uh, menace counter. And then, all right, now we uh, we would be attacked for six. We're going to use shield block, exhausting Captain America's shield, taking none of it. All right, we're going to use... Band together to play Super Soldier Serum and to exhaust Super Soldier Serum. We're not going to do this. We're going to play Make the Call. Bring Maria Hill. No, Mockingbird. Back into play. And then we're going to pay for it with Band Together, making her free. 
After she enters play, she stuns the enemy. We're going to exhaust Steve's apartment to draw a card. He won't damage from us. We are going to use Strength, the card we drew from Steve's apartment, to play Super Soldier Serum now, exhausting it. And I'm actually not going to exhaust it. We're going to play Seal Toss, discarding. Power of Leadership, dealing four damage. One, two, three, four. One, two, Green Goblin. We're gonna attack with Mockingbird, giving her a consequential damage. And then we're gonna attack for two with White Tiger, she, he was at 13, we took down 1, 2, 3, he's now at 10. We're then going to exhaust Steve Roger to bring us up to, Steve Rogers rather, to bring us up to 8. Um, question, do we want to... Do Kalu. Do we want to thwart with him? Attack with him? I think we're just going to go and thwart. White Tiger and Kalu would both be killed. Get the thwart done as little as possible. We would draw up. Try Scallion. Fearless Determination. Heroic Strike. America's Helmet. And Squirrel Girl. When Green Goblin would scheme, would remove one Madness counter from State of Madness. Flipping such, putting two onto Criminal Enterprise. Flipping Norman Osborn. Norman Osborn would scheme for two. He would scheme for two, three. Placing... Three scheme on with an acceleration token of one. So it now has four. Our bad card is Oscorp Manufacturing. When revealed, if it's a if it's on Norman Osborne size, place one per person on here. So it's at base of three. Alright, everything readied up. We are going to use Fearless Determination to draw us a card, Hawkeye. Sorry about that. Had to go do a chore. Um, where was I? Oh, yes. Using Fearless Determination to draw a card, drew into Hawkeye. I'm going to use Squirrel Girl, or I'm going to use Super Soldier Serum and Caps, just his uh, alter ego ability, to bring Squirrel Girl in. She does one automatic damage as she enters, bringing, bringing him down from 10 to 9. Nope, it would not. What it would do instead, my apologies, is it would take one off of him. I'm going to attack, doing one. Flipping this over. He deals four indirect damage to us, which we are going to have to take. He has 10 health left. So then what we're going to do, so we could do six. 
seven and eight. We can we can kill him right now. Okay, we're going to tackle Mockingbird, giving her one. Bring him down to nine. We're going to use Steve's apartment to heal us up to five, drawing us a card. Great, this is actually amazing. Um, I'm going to flip up to Captain America. Attack. We're going to use Captain America's helmet, Hawkeye, and uh, a Triskelion to pay for Heroic Strike, dealing six. Uh, he was at nine, so he'll be at three. Um, we're going to attack with Captain America for two. Discard a card, being another heroic strike. Ridding Captain America and doing two more. All right. Well, that was Captain America Steve Rogers versus Green Goblin in Risky Business. This is a first to a two-part series. We're going to be using this specific Captain America deck with the limited cards I have currently to play against both of Green Goblin's scenario sets. His uh, first with his Risky Business and next with his Mutagen Formula, which I've heard the Mutagen Formula is a lot more difficult than this one is because this seemed quite easy with my um, limited experience of the game. But with that being said, um, I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe and comment down uh, the mistakes I made and just overall things that I need to learn, things I need to keep track of, and just your favorite, comment down below who your favorite hero in Marvel Champions is. Um, and with that being said, uh, this is Shinobi Brogan. Peace out.